Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Nearly a month since the destructive Windy Deuce and Smokehouse Creek fires, community agencies are still working to track down and contact those who have been afflicted. ABC 7's Drew Powell reports efforts to rebuild will take time. So a month after the fires, we know that there are about 127 homes that have been lost. The next step in the process after recovery is to rebuild. And that's why local community leaders, churches and nonprofits are working together to try to comprise a list to see who all has moved away and who has the intent of coming back to rebuild on their property. Right now we're double checking on everyone and people are temporarily somewhere. In order for the neighborhoods to heal from the devastation, the victims of the Windy Deuce and Smokehouse Creek fires who lost their homes need to make contact and communicate with the United Way of Hutchinson County. We know that that is a, a long battle. Uh, it's kind of twofold for us. We're still trying to raise funds to be able to help people. There are a few people who, uh, when their properties did burn, they just walked away. And we're asking you, please don't walk away. Give us an opportunity to get that fixed. Along with a number of charities, the Small Business Administration has set up to assist with loans for both business and homeowners. We have had some, uh, most of them have been uh, homeowners. We also help homeowners as well. So therefore, uh, we do have uh, for homeowners up to $500,000 to repair or replace their primary residence and for homeowners and renters up to $100,000 to replace the personal property they lost. We want you to come home. Uh, we want to help you come home and we would love to have you back in Hutchinson County. Drew Powell, ABC 7 News.